Good afternoon, everyone on the Namaste Sawazan Line. I am Asha Mohajan, an HR consultant, coming live from the job in Kathmandu Valley page today. On the article topic, Rahe Kusa Hamro, Labor Act 2074-2017. So before we start with the live session itself, I'd like to give you a bit of an introduction of the company itself, which is Job in Kathmandu Valley. We are in affiliation with the Nepal Realistic Solution, and Nepal Realistic Solution is a management consultancy, and we provide boutique services to our clients whenever they have issues in finance, marketing, HR, or any management consultancy. We also provide ISO certification to our clients. So feel free to like our page or even contact us via the email or phone numbers that we've provided in the Facebook page. Whereas the job in Kathmandu Valley is under the umbrella brand of Nepal Realistic Solution and we provide staff placement services and we also provide freelancing services for our candidates who register themselves under the job in Kathmandu Valley website. Along with the job in Kathmandu Valley, we do have other job portals as well, which are job in Putwa, job in Chitwan, and job in Pokhara. So wherever you are in Nepal, do register yourself for the upcoming opportunities and jobs. Turning to this live session itself, today's live session is on the Labor Act 2074, and it's going to be a brief, informative, and awareness session on the benefits of Labor Act. So I can assume that everyone present here are involved in work one way or the other, be it now or be in the future. So it's very necessary for us to know about our rights and benefits. So today's live session will be for an hour and the live session has been divided into two parts. The first is the presentation part and the second is the discussion part. So you've got any queries regarding the presentation or in the topic itself to put your comment, queries in the comments in the Facebook Live. And me and my team will try to reach you as soon as possible. So let me just bring up the presentation. So as you all know, today's topic is Labor Act 2074, and we'll be talking about the benefits on the basis of cycle of employment. So what is cycle of employment? So employee, employment they start from the day that they get hired and ends when they get terminated. So that particular journey is known as cycle of employment. This cycle of employment is further divided into five categories or five phases, which starts from recruitment itself, which is the hiring process. The second is onboarding, which is induction. The third is safety and development. The fourth is performance appraisal and disciplinary action. And the fifth is offboarding, which is termination. So on the basis of these five categories or phases, we'll be talking about the benefits. The benefits will be in perspective of both the employee as well as the employer, starting with the recruitment itself. So what is recruitment? Kunepani job ko vacancy announcement hune din dehi leera, kune candidate hire hune din samma ko journey lai hami recruitment phase pan sam. Labor act le, do recruitment phase ko lagi, waan le criteria set ko dinu boy ko sa, which are, Number one, cannot hire a minor. So kunaipani candidate below 16 age kuhunzabani, none of the company can hire them. They're not eligible for work as they are deemed to be minor. The second point, cannot discriminate on any grounds. So hire by the hiri, kunaipani ground, be it sex, gender, religion, caste, color, so as you all can see, I'm a female and by caste, I'm Newar. So if I'm hiring people, I cannot say that I only hire people who are females or who are Newar. I need to give equal opportunities to every one of them and only select them on the basis of their quality, skills, and knowledge. 
Number three, no discrimination on the ground of sex for the remuneration. So you point to Pooja Nagalai, and I'll give you an example. After all the screening process and interview process, they think that your female is capable of coming into the work. So employment offer guard activity, while it is vacancy announcement, while the salary 60k is hard on and mentioned guard in about 70, 60k on the come offer on a million. But in Nepal's context, these practices have been coming into place. In my point of view, I think that uh, employer, you say, lady candidate, um, night are some bosses of non otherwise overtime one on of non because of their family commitment or be it their security. Or go point, Nicole, employer even think that they are liable towards the female candidate more as they'll have to pay for the maternity leave. Zunmate, a female candidate, is entitled to, to get 60 days paid leave. So you could are like, uh, point or like, uh, rakira, while it's 60K banda kum ko salary or rupani, di rahna barkosa. But labor act says it's not good. The fourth point, which is remuneration and benefits should be meet the minimum requirement as per the law. So labor act ma, minimum requirement or hammer salary ko, hammer benefits or ko, minimum requirement or toki dinu bakosa. So while hiring, or while vacancy announcement, your requirement or is meet to the The last point, which is employment types. You kurawani ko hami as an employer like it's very helpful. So cost to cost conditions ma or cost to cost employment categories ma say we can hire an employee. The first is regular employment, which is also known as full time employment. The second, which is work based employment, your money gamma project based employment unta. The third is time-based employment. The fourth is casual employment. To explain on this more, for an example, um, restaurant or kun time ma dey peak season on sada. For example, daba ham a school or do chuti on sada. Daba bawa ma lewa na lewa creation ko lagi restaurant leres dan on sada. So two peak hour ma compensate karna ko lagi employer can hire an employee for that particular time period only. That's called casual employment. The fifth is part-time employment. The sixth is that apprenticeships and internships is the same, but they are totally different. They're similar, but different. Apprenticeships usually last from a year to three, whereas internships last from a month to three months. Internships means the employers can only give allowances, food allowances or travel allowances, and does not need to meet the minimum requirement, but apprentices ma se parsa. Similarly, trainees ma pani, minimum requirement fulfill karnu parni unsa, that a training period sake pati, it is not important that the employer offer them the job. So ye context ma, recruitment ke context ma, there are few other points that I would like to add. So, you can see that it's not just the organization that are hiring the people. So, third party agencies are company, two three Haliko services are doing. The first one is outsourcing, the second one is placement. So, outsourcing means usually they send employees, and employees. Payroll, the outsourcing company may also. Then, in terms of placement, they send employees and while go payroll, say, hiring organization, so the placement through Baradan, so the Padu, usually the remuneration and the benefits given by the organization is higher. But when you go through outsourcing, don't say remuneration or provide Gari Gunza, the outsourcing team tends to deduct certain percentage, saying that it's their outsourcing fees. So it's better to go via the placement services itself or go directly to the organization. The other point I'd like to add, 
Pahinaka point when you employee perspective by the bio. The second point is in terms of a recruiter. How would I know? You know, I mean, vacancy announcement got some till true hoki, real hoki, false hoki. But how would we know? So to overcome such issues, what we can do is the family interview my candidates are like some. We can ask them to bring their original documents and screen them and check them if they're true or not. So ek prakar ko screening the camera poi saksa. But me being an HR itself and a recruiter, I kind of find a loophole in the Nepal market. So kino on the original documents lay si ki How would I know that's a real certified copy one? Amro passport or I'm a citizenship certificate or their mechanism by done by Nepal government where we can check their verification. That are Jun's educational certificates or training certificates or so we cannot check them. But in abroad, we definitely can. So we being an employer, we need to overcome this. To add on this particular point, fake documents. Uh, I'll take a recent example. Two months back, uh, there were about six to seven doctors who gave fake documents in order to get jobs. So in the cases, ma, people found out that they submitted fake documents. So what happened? The employer filed a case against them in the labor court and actions were taken. So my the doctor boy, the fake documents submit one back. So my let the operation gone over any man's It's very it's a very severe consequence. It's a no mistake boy bunny. So is the good rule being an HR recruitment costly and the overcome one as well. So not only re relying on the certificates, what we can do is take mock tests or do psychological tests. Clearly, with the online platform or is the test or provide got got done back so we can utilize at its fullest. The other point I'd like to add as well is being an employee, whenever you go for an interview, it's very necessary that you know what to expect. Usually interviewer might say questions, you might say, hey, what do you expect? What's your salary expectation, Bonera? So you need to know the market range and prepare yourself. So I like a market range, entry level might say, it's 15,000 rupees till 30,000. In a supervisor level, it starts from 30,000 to 60,000. In a managerial level, it starts from 60 to 1 lakh 120,000. Or in a chief executive level, it starts from 90 to 170,000. It totally depends on the industry and the qualifications that you have. Your information are today, I've brought it from the vacancy announcement of various organizations. So this is just an average and to give you an idea. So recruitment party and employees goes through onboarding. So onboarding was a key costume. So that hiring by party, who employee like company na log it at the commission, vision, culture, inductions or user. The induction prime time, what documents do you need? What documents do you need to get? And cost of entitled entitlements are saying you need to get one I'm going to explain. So onboarding mapani, labor law has set some criteria. So your criteria, I say, do listen very carefully, be mindful. This is a very important part. Being an employee, you need to get your employee contract from the date of join itself. And you do employment contract ma, remuneration, benefits, and conditions of employment are written, mentioned in the person. I'm specifically focusing on this particular part, Kina Bandahiri, for an example. If Topai kuna interview Mandanunsa, and they um, offer you 25,000, but at the end of the month, they only gave you 23,000. So, about Topai li, kun basis man say, man le gaur bandunsa ki, man le duya zar puye ko chayna wanera. So, the oral contract matter bago tiyo Topai ruko kasali ta orili sune ko tena. So, if you get your employment contract signed, it is as a written and a signed document and it can be taken as a base even to fight a legal action. So employment contract is very necessary. 
इस पची आमी जान दे चम हम इंटाइटलमेंट जोड़ मां सो डी फर्स्ट इंटाइटलमेंट इस प्रेमरेशन सो एस ऑफ फर्स्ट ऑफ श्रावण 2078 Government has mentioned that the minimum wage should be fifteen thousand rupees per month. So, two fifteen thousand rupees has been mentioned, taken into consideration all the inflammation of the last year. The fifteen thousand is further divided into two categories. One is basic wage. The second is allowance. So, basic wage money could be fifteen thousand go on an average sixty percent dunsa. Whereas allowance is the rest of the 40%. Government of Nepal has even further divided them into daily as well as in per hour basis on a daily average of, in a minimum of 577 rupees can be earned, whereas in a per hour basis, 77 rupees can be earned. Labor Act A, minimum requirement matra mention gardin baka chayne ki, wahanli, कुन टाइम में और कुन टाइम फ्रेम बितर यो सैलरी तीन ही सकूं पर सा इंप्लॉयर ले पाने रुपन मेंशन करने बात करते हैं। There are cases which is the first one, if the working period is less than four weeks, it should be paid within three days after the work is done. Second, which is casual work, it the payment should be done immediately after the work is done. The third one, which is the regular employment, the full time employment, this to be limited to payment should be done at the very end of each month, but the payment of the previous and the forthcoming payment should not be more than one month. Labor Act, they've even mentioned that an employee is entitled to a festival allowance, which is a one-time allowance, and it's equal to the basic wage of one month. So Isma Bani, being an employee, you can ask for festival allowance according to the religion that you follow. So me being a Hindu, I can ask my festival allowance to be given during Dasai or Bihar. Or if you're a Muslim, Buddhist, or Christian, you can ask during Eid, Losar, or Christmas accordingly. So remuneration is the first kind of entitlement. Moving on to the second kind of entitlement, which is benefits. So according to the Nepal government law, it has brought a program of social security fund program. So which covers the provident fund, the gratuity and the insurance. Pai Lansai organization used to contribute in the three different categories separately. That ideally, there has been a provision brought that if you contribute in the social security fund, the team day category is fulfilled. So on this, Employee and employer both contribute. So the employee contribute 11%, whereas the employer contribute 20%. So according to the Nepal government law itself, it's necessary that the employer contributes or gets the employee registered under the social security fund. So social security fund may contribute to the key cost of benefits of the otherwise key cost of scheme of the one is we are going to discuss in the next live session. So follow us and we'll notify you when we'll be coming live in the next section. Going on to the third kind of entitlement, which is work hours. Labor Act, um, in a regular basis, an employee can only work up to eight hours for a maximum of 48 hours in a week, which is six days a week. So this week, even when they work for eight hours a day, Half an hour of break time, it's compulsory for them to have lunch or have recreational activities. But when you an organization, not just like a factory, production industry, or uh, operations are stopping on a middle of another, this will be like an employer like you on a They can allocate the rest time turn by turn to the employees and carry on with the operation. Again, when you have time, if there has been cases where deadline needs gone like they can ask the employee to do overtime. Overtime got that Katie. They cannot ask them to work more than four hours a day or 24 hours a week. That's the maximum overtime criteria. So whenever an employee works quite overtime, they're entitled to get 1.5 times of the basic remuneration or 150% of the basic remuneration. Female candidate her security like 
taken as a base. Uh, Labor Act has also mentioned that if they work before the sunrise or work after the sunset, transportation facility should be provided by the employer itself. The last kind of entitlement for an employee is leave. As you all can see, there are various kinds of leave. The first one is public holiday. So Nepal government, the each year calendar, Nikala, there are various numerous um, public holidays, but amongst them, employee can only give them 13 days leave, including the May Day. Whereas in the sick leave, an employee is entitled to 12 days of sick leave. Similarly, in an annual leave, they're entitled to one day per 20 working days. But 20 working days, one day got the calculations in Kanagaru Nadi. Many of the employer, what they do is they calculate as per one day per month. But in terms of female candidates, they even get maternity leave. They can take a leave up to 14 weeks, amongst which only 16 days is paid. Labor Act has even mentioned that an employee can accumulate their leave. They can accumulate up to 90 days for the annual leave and 45 days for their sick leave. But the employee can or retire while annual leave ko matre engagement ko na sakmunsa sick leave ko tenga na sakmunna. So these were the entitlements an employee can get. We're going to the third phase, which is safety and development. So safety and development, Mate. Labor Act has said that an employee must get a training if he or she needs to operate a equipment, heavy equipment, or use any chemicals during his or her employment. The employer also needs to provide fire drills training or emergency issue trainings to their employees. So fire exit or fire drills are got on in the key. If emergency exit or safe entry or any employees are late, say arrange for the important Taking into consideration employer safety factor as well as outsiders to plant my physical noons, taking into consideration, they need to formulate and implement a policy. The policy same while labor office may register on a So the topic safety and development, I would like to give an example. So recently, seven days back, I guess, there was an incident in CG company where they had a fire in the brewery. Do you think that training provide bago thina olata? In my point of view, training provide no bago inaki. Training provide gare no matre pumpe na. Tya the man le practice sessions are gonna go on no bani nuncha. So it's very important that certain interval ma say fire drills, other emergency drills or it's a practice session unai parsa so that they're aware and they're ready to take actions whenever they have an emergency issues or fire issues. The next topic is performance appraisal and disciplinary action, which is the fourth phase. So after an employee works for a year in an organization, he or she is entitled to get a performance appraisal. So it is done annually. And um, performance appraisal got the heavy annual increment when you got it, that it's totally subjected to the performance of the employee. Annual increment or that could be incrementing employee go half basic remuneration of a year could establish increase on the But as an employer or as an employee, how do you know it's fair that public increment to no light as a light as a monitor? So in Nepal, Many of the organization, what they do is 90 degree performance appraisal, which is me being an employee, mere performance appraisal got a hidden, mere supervisor, mere CEO, other mere HR, some performance appraisal got in But in such cases, if mere supervisor, mere kam, other malay, personally, what they can do is discriminate and stop my annual increment or, or promotions. So, what I like to say to the employer is, it is very necessary that you guys do 360 degree performance appraisal. Zunma, it's not only 
हायरकी को बेसिस में मात्र है कि वहांस जति डिपर्टमेंट को मानी अटैच होफर्मेन्स अप्रेजल गयो इट्स फेयर एंड इट्स बेनिफिशियल फर बोथ एम्प्लॉय एज वेल एज द इम्प्लॉय After performance appraisal, labor act means a disciplinary action or ko bari pani mention garnu bhako cha. So on the basis of the severity of the misconducts, a different disciplinary actions can be taken. Isma ani chai formal notice ko bari kura garna gaireko cha. So kun circumstances are means a formal um notice are dinu mincha ta. The first is if kunai employee without approval absent no bo bani. The second is without permission work this leave garnu bhayo bani the third is frequently work man say late arrive garnu bhayo bani the fourth is afno supervisor or the afno manager ko orders ru disobey garnu bhayo bani in such circumstances formal notice can be given the other kind of disciplinary action that can be taken is remuneration of e- an equal to a day can be deducted cost of circumstances are man job an employee gets a letter or a formal notice and that's refused it can be taken the second is when a illegal strike may if they take part or um auto allegedly force gone on to money third is when a intentionally your organization go property like damage gone on to cause no back to money the fourth is a fake documents are to provide or a benefit in cause no back to money fifth is um equipment haru jun chai waha le chalaunu parcha bhane hire gareko cha the equipment chalauna namannu bhayeko avastha ma ani six similar circumstances haru ma the third kind of disciplinary action that an employer can take is termination if waha le garnu bhayeko misconduct ekdamai severe cha bhane termination samma pani garnu milcha kasto avastha ma garnu milcha ta यदि इम्प्लॉय इम्प्लॉयर हार्म कर खोज्बा एंटरप्राइज को प्रपर्टी हार्म कर खोज्बा और इफ दे आर टेकिंग ब्राइब इफ दे आर फेकिंग देर एजुकेशनल सर्टिफिकेट्स है अभी तेज थर्टी डेज भाग एब्सेंट होदाउट नोटिस टर्मिनेसन कर मिले अथवा आउटसाइड वर्क नहीं वहाँ क्रिमिनल अफेन्स कर इफ दे कम टू वर्क um taking narcotic substances or liquor or take during the work hours itself they can be terminated or while the um company ko kunai confidential information haru are leak or no bad so with an intention to harm the company in such cases termination can be done as well so labor law leasing employee misconduct got the hiriman to discipline action you know no ki They even take disciplinary action when it's on behalf of the employer itself. So, for an example, um, a month back there was this case where a recruitment company was taking a lot of money from their employer in order to give them employment. Two cases, ma, the particular employee, labor court, ma, got a manly complaint filed by the employer. Then the labor law took the necessary action by. taking away the license of the recruitment company so this was the recruitment company le kunai pani recruitment kaam haru garna saknu bhayena so it's not that labor law le chai employer la matre priority dine hai ki wahan le chai employee as well as employer to be le prioritize garnu huncha you can even hear aile news or ma that there are certain circumstances where sexual harassment or mental harassment is been going so this the circumstances are ma the ki garna saknu chha ta if it's an employee is uh, who he is doing sexual harassment this the cases are meant to severity or disciplinary actions or the means of but if it's an employee who is doing it employee atawa employee of the family can file a complaint against him in the labor court and necessary actions will be taken so kat tere cases are meant to employee tend to switch their jobs rather than raising their voice in my point of view i think you cases or you labor actually on the boycott set rules and regulations or bare mar aware hunu na bhayeko karanle garda i guess they are switching jobs so it's very necessary that you guys know your rights and benefits and take actions against the wrong doing we are going on to the last phase which is offboarding also known as termination 
So offboarding is a category that generalized by the One is termination. The other is layoff. The third is vaccination. And the fourth is retirement. So we're going to the retirement section first. So smart thing. If an employee doesn't show any kind of good behavior or good work progress in his or her performance for three or more than three consecutive years, do um, basis an employee can terminate the employee. Or if work related injury medical treatment and they don't return to work after six months, an employee can terminate them. But if uh, an employee gets into accident during the work itself or has an occupational disease in such circumstances, the employer lets it terminate corner mill lena. This two cases are multi employerly while for expenses that take funny medical treatment expenses also do be honoparni unza. But if they are contributing in the social security fund, do the social security fund lane, adidi nunza. So expenses does not need to be bared by the employer. We're going on to the second kind of importing, which is layoff. So layoff, one you say, kune organization. My financial crisis, I could say, one more like financial status, my God, why I could say, one, they can shut down their organization as well as a particular department and lay off people. But a layoff got they need to give. 30 days prior notice to their employee so that they can look for another kind of jobs or they can secure any other doing. So layoff for the 30 days prior notice data matri hundaneki, they need to go phase by phase by laying off. The first phase is they need to lay off the foreign employers first and give prior to do the nationals. The second phase is justly jun employee. There is misconduct that is going to be done. We are going to the second phase. Ma. Third phase, ma. Do the employee go or the employee or one that weak performance. We are going to lay off one second. So the last and foremost, ma. Say, do the employee last ma appoint one back or two. We are going to priority there. Last ma, nay, lay off one one day. Unza. So lay off for the thirty days criteria. Ma, three me. Uh, not ready, or the criteria are going to meet Kornoparnum's employee, which has been stated by the Labor Act, which are one lady, employer lady, one day, base, one, one year ago, basic salary as a compensation thing they need to provide to their employee if they have worked more than a year. But if one year when the Kuna employee less Kangal Rahnubakos Havan, in such cases, proportionate compensation should be given. But again, if they contribute in the social security fund, such compensation need not be given as the social security fund will be giving unemployment benefits to the employee. But if enterprise shutdown on a garden is government order of the labor law order, in such cases, none of the above will be applicable. The other cases where such criteria would not be applicable is so, the Pune organization met DOS, Athaba DOS, when they come, employees are doing Savani. In such cases, retrenchment criteria are doing Pune Bani Me Too for them. But again, saying that, if in future, after two years, while after operation again, Yonu Kusnubaku Savanda, this to be Laman saying, while the labor is a year back, but Julia of Nubasa, while the priority didn't burn in Hunza. But Prior to the new bank, which I know, Bani, when an employee lay 35 days after labor court ma application, Rahna Sakunonsa, and the labor court will take the necessary doings. So layoff ko topic ma wano pada kiri. Um, it has been coming into place a lot in such circumstances where we are um battling COVID. You will imagine say many of the organizations due to the financial crisis close on the body counter. It's very necessary that you know your rights and take actions accordingly. We're going to the third kind of offboarding, which is voluntary offboarding and is also known as resignation. So if an, if an employee is not happy with their work in an office, they can resign from their work, but it's very necessary that they give a resignation letter. 
and prior. So resignation letter Diego Pandra Din Vitrazing, employerly it needs to notify its employee that it's been accepted. Edi notify Gonobako China, and it will be deemed as it's accepted. Notify to employer employer part employee go part better. but in terms of employer, uh, Labor Act has mentioned that resignation letter is a case by case prior notice the Dinoborn answer. The first case is if an employment is less than four weeks, one day prior notice should be given. In the second case, if the case employment is more than four weeks and up to a year, seven days prior notice should be given. And in the third case, if the employment is more than a year, 30 days prior notice should be given. So you point to it, if you guys resign without giving prior notice, consequences zunza. Zunma, employee can deduct resigning resign on a prior period, man jati pani kamauna saknunsa, to a man tapali pauni renumeration but a deduct kare dina saknunsa, atwa, sabay tapali pauni pauni benefits, tapali pauni pauni renumeration, sabay so there are two cases depending on the organization itself. We're moving on to the last kind of offboarding, which is compulsory offboarding and also known as retirement. So Labor Act has said that when you reach to an age of 58 years, you need to ret uh, retire compulsorily. So 58 years, but you say you're not eligible to work for any other company, but you can work on your own as a consultant. In such cases, employer lazy, employee le bono bunny benefits, as well as remuneration within 15 days after his or her retirement, it needs to provide with them with their remuneration and benefits. The same goes for the termination case. But financial crisis organization liquidate the remuneration needs to be the top most priority to be given after even selling their assets. So assets, assets sell got it about when topmost priority thing when a labor co renumeration of benefits pay gone in a din But when in cases of my company sang a paisane china renumeration benefits dinner line a paisa sign of assets is high no one is in labor court my appeal gone to some answer and actions will be taken accordingly. So I would like to end my presentation here. Thank you all for listening so briefly and so confidently. Thank you so much. Uh, so we'll be moving on to the discussion rounds where we will be taking questions and answering it to them. So I'll be stopping the presentation now. Okay. So my teammates have shooting me some questions that you guys have given us. Okay, let me just bring that up. So the first question that you've asked is, so if kune company ma minimum requirement or fulfill ba ko chayna wa minimum benefits or fulfill ba ko chayna ba ni ki karna sakin cha ta pane ta balle question raise karna ba ko cha. So in such cases, ta pa yorli aafne employer go against case file karna sakin cha. You can go to the labor court and file your case and needful doings will be done. The cases ko severity headed up, labor court can um, put a fine on the employer or even stop their operations. So if the minimum requirement you can raise your voice. Uh, we are um, waiting for the second round of question. Uh, which is uh, somebody has asked that if Union ko maa garu nahi, employer le sunnu baayana wa, athwa 
this my discuss karne la aunu bhayo na bhane chai ke garna sakinchha ta bhane you guys have um raised a question in such cases uh what we can do is so union commands here can uh, appeal to the court saying that um hamro employer uh, hasn't come for a discussion round and could you please give an order to the employee to do it so labor court will issue an order to the employer and in waha ru chai labor court le pani good time the destination ma chai discussion ko lagi aunu parne huncha discussion garda heri athwa negotiation garda heri if the mag ru fulfill bhayena bhani any of the party be it the employer as well as an employee can file a okay, uh, um complain against in the court saying that mag fulfill bhayena and we would like to go further by going to arbitration and mediation process so arbitration and mediation process ma tapairu ko negotiation bhayera edi um decision fulfill bhayo athwa meet bhayo bhane it's good but if meet bhayena bhane labor court gaining all the evidences and the pair ko negotiation discussions are ko um, points are like aadhar manera they will make a decision and labor court's decision will be the full and the final decision so both employee as well as the employer needs to abide by it so aaj ko hamro ek ghanta ko session sakina aateko cha हजरहरुको अरु के क्वेशन छ भने राख्दिनु होला अम माइ टिम एन्ड आइ विल प्राइवेटली मेसेज यु गाइस एन्ड ट्राइ टु रिसोल्भ इट आइ क्यान सी फ्यू अदर क्वेशन्स दैट हैव बीन रेज एन्ड माइ टिम हैज स्टार्टेड रिप्लाइंग टु यु ऑल अलरेडी सो हैविंग सेड दैट अम आई गेस नो मोर क्वेशन्स हैज बीन रेज सो अम आइ वुड लाइक टु एंड टुडेस लाइव सेशन uh but stay in touch stay do follow us in job in kathmandu valley page as well as the nepal real estate solution page so that you guys can get an update about when our next live session will be and you, we will be talking about social security fund and their schemes on the next live session saying that i would like to end today's live session and thank you all for your participation and your question and hopefully um i guess i've answered all the questions in a right way and thank you thank you everyone have a good day namaste